everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome so for today's video i'm so flippin excited because i'm going to be doing a video that was so highly requested on my channel i get dms about doing this every single day i'm not being dramatic i really really do i'm going to be doing a bougie on a budget at walmart fall edition my video i did like this last year actually got over a million views which is crazy to me. These videos about shopping at Walmart never started as a challenge. They were always because it's a passion of mine. My sister and I, my mom, we've all been shopping at Walmart forever. And honestly, when these challenges started arising, like everyone and their mother was doing wearing Walmart for a week, finding out it's at Walmart, they kind of bothered me, not gonna lie, because I don't find, I don't think that finding outfits at Walmart is necessarily a challenge. I don't think it should be made a challenge. Shopping at Walmart, isn't bad. It's actually really amazing. Also, if you shop at Walmart, don't think that just because people are calling it a challenge or making it seem like it's really difficult to find amazing things. I mean, I found four bags worth of clothes. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up at Walmart this fall season. They also had the amazing classics that I've spoken about on my channel before. So I've done around four, I think, Walmart bougie on a budget videos on my channel before. The first one I did was all about like basics and how to really navigate Walmart. I did that like a year and a half ago. Then I did my last fall bougie on a budget. And then I did, I think like 10 or 12 outfits from Walmart and I just did a spring Walmart bougie on a budget. So fall is my favorite time of year. Fall is my favorite fashion and I found some really, really amazing things at Walmart. So if you wanna see what I picked up, then just keep watching. So in the past, I've taken you to Walmart with me and I just honestly am in my own little world when I'm shopping at Walmart that I forget to pick up and I end up just having footage of like half of a t-shirt. So I didn't do that this time. I was really in my element. I went shopping yesterday morning. I got a coffee and I just had a blast. I didn't pick up any of the basics that Walmart has that I love. So the biker shorts, the leggings, the sports bras, the tank tops, the t-shirts, the ones that I wear every day, my rider dies, like I did not pick up because I have a billion of them. But if you wanna check out my past videos, you can. Walmart has amazing basics and they also kind of reinvented some of their basics which I am all here for and I love. Walmart has the best sweatshirts and I honestly like wearing these with biker shorts. Walmart also has biker shorts or leggings. I got this in two sizes. I got it in medium and large but what I like about this, this was actually in the women's section. What I like about this sweater is that it's actually less narrow, like less long and it's a little bit more oversized and I like those sweaters more when I'm wearing like biker shorts or even leggings or just lounge around the house. This also, if you get it in a big enough size, can be like a sweater dress. Just be careful when you wash it, it might shrink a little bit. These are a little bit shorter and they're a little bit um, wider, just like a better fit, I find. They have them in sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. I'm not sure if they had extra, extra large. I got, like I said, medium and large. They had it also in a few colors. I know they had it in gray. I'm not sure if they had it in other colors, maybe in navy, but I just picked it up in black. Okay, so this is the medium. I just have it paired with biker shorts. These biker shorts are from Aritzia. They're my absolute favorite. And my running shoes. So the size medium is actually perfect. The size large is probably too big. I'll just give it to my boyfriend. I love the fit of this because it is so loose and kind of stretchy. I really love when sweaters aren't so tight at the bottom. Like this band is like really loose and casual. I just have it with a crossbody bag, a pair of running shoes, and this is my go-to outfit. They're a little big right now, but they feel identical to the ones from Pretty Little Thing. And I know once I wash them once, they're gonna be perfect. So I highly, highly recommend the sweatpants and the sweatshirts from Walmart. I brought my own reusable bags. I was just so excited about it. I forgot them at home. Okay, so I don't know if you're ready for this. It is a teddy bear jacket in like this beautiful brown. Can you freaking believe it? I'm gonna die of heat, I know it, but it is just so cute. I love the little details here. If you wanna throw it over your shoulders, if you wanna throw it on with leggings or a pair of jeans. If you were looking for like a new winter jacket or a new jacket in general, they had a ton. This is just the one that caught my eye and like I didn't have anything like it in my collection. But for fall time, this is just going to be a bestseller. So make sure if you want this, like run to your Walmart because it probably will sell out. This was a little bit more expensive. This was $60 Canadian, but it 
it is so worth it because the color of it is stunning and the material and the quality of it is really nice and it feels very warm. Sorry, but this jacket does not look like it came from Walmart. So I just have it paired with all black and it is so warm, so cozy. I love the detailing on the bottom and on the sleeve. Like, come on you guys. This is so freaking cute. I can't get over this jacket. I probably prefer it with an all black outfit, even with jeans. It is so Okay, so the next item that I was so surprised that they had and so happy that they had was a pair of leather leggings. So I'm not joking, you guys. They had leather leggings. <laughs> like, it's crazy to me. I'm kind of upset though because the hanger set is size small. However, these are a size medium and I know medium is going to be too big on me. So I'm going to go exchange them. I'll still show you how they fit on, but I just wanted to show you guys that they do have leather leggings and they're really good quality. They're very stretchy. They look very nice as well. It's a really nice leather and these were $19 compared to other leggings on the market, which go for like 60 to 100 dollars that's a steal okay, so these are the leather leggings i thought they were going to be too big but they actually fit me really really well they're only a little bit loose around my stomach area but other than that they fit really well this is one of my favorite outfits for fall just wearing black leather leggings and an oversized black top on top this is actually from walmart that's why i paired it together this is from the men's section it's one of my absolute favorite um waffle tops or thermals whatever you want to call it and then i just have it paired with black heels you can throw on a turtleneck or a sweater. I just can't believe that these leather leggings are from Walmart. So this is the last thing in this bag. This is actually just a really fuzzy sweater. I don't know if you can see how fuzzy and cozy it is. So I love cozy teddy bear sweaters in the fall and winter time. But this one is that on the inside, it's very cozy, but it's not this material. So you're not gonna like overheat or I feel like when it's this material on the inside I kind of feel a little claustrophobic because it's very like stuffy however it's not that material on the inside this was $11 and I got a size extra large oh you know why because this was in the kids section I got this out of the little girl section I got in a size extra large if you wanted to get it in a smaller size it might look a little bit cropped this might not be like the most flattering sweater ever but it is so freaking comfortable a tip for you guys is that if a sweater is like too long or too big if you want you can fold it under and tuck it into your bra strap and it'll just stay there this is something i definitely see myself wearing at home because i don't want to take it off it's so freaking comfy it's also just very cute with a pair of jeans when i saw this next set i knew i had to get it and show you guys because it's like a knit skirt and turtleneck nude set like i literally gasped when i saw it they also had it in a mustard set so this is what the top looks like it's just a turtleneck and this i got in a size extra small let me tell you the price these prices are all in canadian of course it was 16 dollars and then it came well it didn't come but there was a matching skirt which i got in extra small and it was 16 dollars as well now this is a little bit long i'm not so into kind of midi skirts but it is something that you can get tailored you can get shortened i thought if you just tucked it in you had like a cute little nude cord set which this looks like it totally could come from misguided but it came from walmart i'm actually very impressed with the fit of this like i said i don't love midi skirts i just find them not like so flattering on my body i didn't like this top tucked in i thought it looked very odd so i have it tied you can also tie it in the back walmart is really stepping up their game this season i can't wait to show you guys this so this again they didn't have my size normally at walmart i'm like a four in bottoms they only had a six. Maybe you'll have better luck at your Walmart, but it is a zip front leather skirt. Like, come on guys, this just, this looks like it came straight from Zara and this was $19. So for a leather skirt that again, I don't know where Walmart is getting their faux leather, but it is like top notch. The skirt is a little bit big. I definitely could have done it with a size four. The zipper goes all the way down. I wasn't sure if it like actually unzipped, but it does actually unzip. I just have this top from Cole and Terry tucked in. I had so many questions about this top. I got this in a size medium it's the crop top so i just have it tucked in and then i just have it paired with a pair of black heels these are from shoe lastly i got this because i don't have like a neutral colored flannel and i really like this one i love flannels mostly for tying around my waist i don't really ever like wear them like a real flannel unless i'm tying them with a knot in the front flannel was very neutral i got it in a size small and it was 16 dollars this definitely looks like it could come from zara or somewhere more expensive I did have other options like more colorful options but like i said 
I like my neutral. This is my favorite way to wear flannels. You can also throw it on like a regular flannel. If you guys have issues with it kind of opening up too much, you can keep it a few buttons buttoned and it'll keep it contained. Also, you guys know my trick of angling it down to be more flattering. I'm like sweating up a storm in here. It's so freaking hot. Okay, so you guys are gonna die. You know how I love my um, quarter zip front crop sweaters from Pretty Little Thing? I'm obsessed with them. Well, look what I found. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? This is the exact reason I love Walmart. This was $16. I got a size extra small. I love this little detailing. Like, you can wear any color shoes with it because you have black, white, and gray. They also had, I think, in a maroon color, but of course I had to get black. This sweater looks exactly like the sweaters I have from Pretty Little Thing and Misguided. It feels exactly the same. So then I ventured into the men's section and I got this shirt. So this shirt actually reminds me of the one I got on Amazon in white, which I love. The material's very thick. I got this, it is in the men's section, like I said. It was a little bit priced. It was a little bit pricier, but the quality is really, really good. And I wore my Amazon one like all the time. It's very thick and this is gonna keep you very warm in the winter time. It's very soft and the quality is really nice. So like I said, I got a size medium. They did have other colors in this and this was $17, but you will feel the quality of this t-shirt. Every way to wear these shirts are just tied with a pair of jeans. These are from Zara. I honestly wear all of my long sleeves like this. This one is especially really warm. The material on the inside is very very soft I'm dying of heat but it's perfect for the winter the fall and winter time so yeah I just have it paired with jeans but this is how I wear all my top for so this next top I got was actually just a regular black turtleneck which you cannot have enough of in the fall season they did have this in a few other colors I got this in a size small it was $16 and it's a really cool material it's not like really thick which makes it a lot easier to tuck into jeans you could also get this and just cut it across and have like a crop turtleneck which is what I'll probably do because I have a few turtlenecks already and honestly when I'm buying something at Walmart or like buying something that's a little bit more affordable like $16 I don't mind cutting it and cropping it and tailoring it to my body or how I want it to fit. Whereas if I buy something from like ASOS, which a turtleneck sweater is probably upwards of 40 to 50 bucks, I don't feel comfortable chopping that up, but a sweater like this, I do. So I'll probably make this into a crop sweater, but if you wanted to leave it long, it did go pretty long if you wanted to wear it with leggings and it does have a slit in the side, which is a nice detail. So I don't really love this like flare bottom. I'm sure some people do, but this is definitely something that I will be cropping to have like a cropped turtleneck kind of thing. So cute. Then I ventured into the shoe section and look at these little booties. Like Walmart always has the cutest shoes. They also have the ones that I got last year for fall, the little um, Chelsea boots that I love and wore to death. I wanted to get these because they're a little bit different. They have a little bit of a heel. Honestly, I didn't even try these on in the store, which was probably not that smart. They fit like a glove. I actually got these in the size seven, so I sized up a full size. So just go in and try them on. These are from the brand George and they were 40 bucks. So for a heeled boot, like you won't find a better price. All right, you guys. So that is it for what I got at Walmart this fall season. Let me know what your favorite piece was down below and if you're gonna be picking anything up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you for all of your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I love you so much and I will see you guys back here next time.